One of the biggest things in coming to Africa has been seeing this image everywhere. I, I couldn't even, when I first saw it, I couldn't even believe what was happening. And it was troubling because in seeing this image, I didn't see anybody who looked like this image. It was all brown people in this image and they're told that this is supposed to be Jesus. When in actuality, this is a false image. But then you have these brown and black and African preachers sitting up here preaching to the masses saying, this is Jesus. This is your savior. This is who going to save you from eternal damnation. And then I turned on the television on my first trip when I came to Ghana and I saw the church packed with Africans and the little preacher was where he was sitting there telling them I don't even know what he was talking about I'm, I'm, I won't even go down that road right now but behind him was this same image and I said wow when I looked at how many people were in that room and I said they are trusting this person who's decreeing and declaring in the name of that that this is who God is and who you should follow. Now, of course, I expect this to be like this. It's the Catholic Church. I expect them to have this image up there because that's what they do. They do what they do. But we got to do better, y'all. I'm about to break this thing all the way down because I saw it in East Africa. I saw it in West Africa. I didn't see it so much in South Africa. Uh, it's in America. How about that? So it's not an African thing. It's, a, it's in America, too. Uh, even this on the side of the road in Ghana, these statues, I guess it's supposed to be a Mary, and, supposed to be a, and so he's back. He's back. Just wanted to remind you what was going on. <laughs> okay, now. It, but it's all this same image. And when you learn the history of how this image and their distortion or their interpretation or their, their form of religion was imposed upon people, you know something went wrong. And not saying that, you know, that this is the white man's religion. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that there's a distortion that took place that has now infiltrated and circulated around the world. They go, little, I think that little, little, little black image. And I'm not saying the black image is any better. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that when, I mean, from a geographical standpoint, from a historical standpoint, even from a biblical standpoint, <laughs> this image does not exist but yet people hold true to it as if, as if this is the Savior, the Messiah, the risen Son of God who's come back to save the world. And it is simply false. The image is simply false. And people follow it like it is. And this is a different image here. And, and then you see the black preachers up there with the same image. So then the finger of God is a white finger of God. It, it, it's just, it's, I'm telling you. Well, I'm about to break this thing down. I'm going to really put this into context and hopefully either get some people asking questions or sounding the alarm that this image is false. <laughs>